Greetings, folks. So I did a tarot pull for the collective in regards to feeling feelings. And so if anybody is having some difficult or hard feelings and they don't know where they're coming from or they don't know how to describe it or describe the hard feeling, this will hopefully help with that. Uh, it's been some time now for those that have been sheltered in place or who have been in quarantine. And hopefully this reading will help you uncover or decipher what these feelings are and create a strategy around how to change those feelings into serving you versus disheartening you. So the energy that is surrounding this, this hard feeling is the tarantula. I'm going to read the description and then share some notes that I took from it. So the tarantula is at a crossroad claiming life's purpose. The tarantula represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose, or dharma, which means passion. A habit or routine from the past is sidetracking you from your dream, yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus your attention. In order to find true happiness, you must choose dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. The tarantula hovers, patient and calm, like an old friend that knows your inner soul. It already knows you'll choose wisely. When in balance, follows intuition. When out of balance, hesitates over intellectualizes to bring into balance daily journaling. So there's an energy happening this month in May and according to the power path, the energy is reflection. And it's a time to reflect on our lives. There's a lot of things happening in the cosmos. Venus is about to go retrograde next week couple weeks, week and a half. Uh, there are some other planets that are also going to go retrograde. The north and south node are moving into different, different signs. And so there's a lot of energy happening that have to do around, and this has been kind of the theme in, the, in these readings is like, what, what life do you want to live? What do you want to get out of life? And are you living your true authentic life? Are you being your true authentic self? Or have there been parts of you that have you that you've been holding back because you're scared of being judged or you're scared of what your friends will think of you? Again, that's judgment. So claiming life's purpose, choosing Dharma. If you are not feeling passionate about life or feeling in a line with a purpose, start uncovering that. What lights you up inside? Oh my goodness. That's interesting. Hmm. I had a statue on my altar fall over. It's taking note. All right. <laughs> Claiming your purpose. I'm going to move on to the next card. The second card feeds the feeling. So if there's this tension around you not feeling authentic or you not feeling like you're living your best life, your most authentic life, if you feel like you're holding yourself back from something or you feel like you have to hide something about yourself, that could that that's most likely the hard feeling that you're being inauthentic or that you're not living the life that you feel like you're meant to live. And so what feeds this feeling 
is the owl card. Out of balance, scarcity. Go to this card. And going back to the last card with the tarantula, daily journaling to bring into balance. It, it's a tender time, first thing in the morning, right when you get up to just start writing. Your subconscious is still in that, that theta state, so you're uh, able to pull things from the subconscious and just kind of let them take over the paper. And you can read it after and see what came up. And that usually tends to show what things that are that we're not acknowledging are starting to come to the surface because we're giving it a voice. So allowing time for yourself in the morning or right before you go to bed to just free write. Let whatever comes to the surface come to the surface. If you need a journal prompt, ask yourself, what do I need to know right now? What does my subconscious need to show me? And put the pen to paper and see what comes, comes to mind. Back to the owl. So this feeds the feeling of that you're not living your authentic purpose. Abundance, clairvoyant treasures. The owl is a mysterious and otherworldly creature found in folklore from east to west. The white owl in this particular deck is the companion, companion of the goddess Lakshmi and represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. When the owl card appears, it's an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in spiritual or material form. With owl wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this boon, how it can further serve your dharma and bring abundance to the world. Trust that the wellspring of treasures is infinite. When in balance, generous, trusting, secure. When out of balance, money quarrels, scarcity. To bring into balance an offering. So sometimes we think that we can't do work or have a career that fulfills us or we feel impactful and that gets us excited to go to work because we think that we can't make money in those, in those ways. And so we stay in jobs that are not serving us, we feel unhappy and we don't feel like we're living our purpose or living our truth or being authentic. And so what if we started changing the way we think of success and abundance in a non-financial way and start owning our authentic selves and owning our purpose? Once we allow and claim our life's purpose and we allow for that to surface and we allow for our gifts to shine through, abundance meets us because we're in alignment with what we came here to do, what we're meant to do based off of our experiences, based off of our life, based off of our talents. There is only one unique you. And so own who you are, own the gifts that you have to share when you do those things and when you're in alignment with all those things and you're freely being who you are, you're met with that same freedom, you're met with that love, you're met with that alignment, you're met with all the things that you allow yourself to receive that bring you joy because you're allowing your true joy into your life, you're allowing your truth into your life. So by claiming your purpose, you're allowing the abundance in. And if you think that only financial stability is abundant or that you have to stay in a job because it brings in X amount of dollars and it makes you financially stable, but really you're not who, you're, who you feel like you should be, you feel like you're not yourself, you don't recognize yourself in the mirror. If any of those things are what you're feeling, it's time to reflect and think of who am I and who? Who am I really? What do I want to be? And if this isn't me, then who am I? And aligning with that. And then the true abundance comes in. The true success comes in. And being happy with your life. You only have one in this body. 
so you might as well embrace it and live the life that you want to live versus the one that you're supposed to live based off of somebody else's terms. So, the owl claiming, if you claim your live your purpose, the abundance comes through. If you don't, you'll continue to be in a scarcity mindset. So to bring into balance an offering, however you think that offering should be, whether it's a physical offering, a, an energetic offering, financial offering, an offering to bring into balance. The third card is the story that's ready to, ch to change, the belief that you're ready to change. That comes from this feeling. So the third card is Stingray. And it was in reverse, so it was upside down when I pulled it. The Stingray, it blames others, it quits. That's when it's out of balance. So we'll go to that card. Developing confidence, sense of self, or spine. The Stingray card represents a pivotal point in personal growth. The moment has come when the Stingray must decide between the old, easy, comfortable, and familiar, and the new, challenging, uncomfortable, and unfamiliar. Pressure from family and friends makes the decision even more complicated. No matter what choice is made now, it's inevitable, inevitable that this dilemma will surface again and again as the force of dharma growing within the stingray is too strong to ignore. When in balance, eager wants to grow. When out of balance, blames others, quit. To bring into balance, move through discomfort. So the story that you're ready to change is continuing to live a life for somebody else continuing to do things because it's what your parents wanted you to do or it's what your spouse had wanted you to do when really it's not something that you want to do. It doesn't feel good to you. And I don't mean like a good or bad feeling, but like it doesn't feel in alignment. It doesn't feel authentic to you. And if it doesn't feel authentic to you, then why are you doing it? It's time to stop blaming others for your life. It's time to take control back into your hands of your life. And I'm not talking about this pandemic and not being able to leave the house or not being able to go see your friends or whatever, that, that not that kind of control, but more so the control of how you feel about things and the way that you view things and the way that you live your life. If you're living your life based off of certain standards or conditions or conditioning or you continue to put your life in other people's hands and how you live your life you're going to keep having these same patterns or same situations arise that will force you to either continue down the same path and have these patterns and situations come up again in a different form or a different person or to finally own why you're here and own your authenticity and own the person that you're meant to be. So it's time to stop blaming others for your life and take ownership over the way that you view life and the way you live your life. Once you take ownership you develop the confidence to be who you are and who you're meant to be. It's time to start building that spine and living your truth. The fourth card is the strategy next time this hard feeling surfaces. So the next time that you feel like you're not living your purpose or that you're living your life based off of somebody else's terms, how do you deal with that emotion? How do you deal with that feeling? This is the golden egg. 
and this one's in reverse, but I'm feeling like this card, no matter which direction it is, will always mean oops, what this means, because the symbol is a circle. So the golden egg. Message at the center of the heart, the unshook sound. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. Deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and a time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga nidra or meditation. If you do not yet have a meditation practice, take some time for introspection or contemplation. When the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart, staying open to any response you hear. Engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice. It requires becoming intimate with our very essence and comfortable with vulnerability. When a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you, know that you are well on your way. Your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long, long time. Listen to the message they've been waiting to tell you. The golden egg in the fourth chakra. The subtle essence of the golden egg is nestled deep within the heart center at the fourth chakra. The chakra is called Anahata, is the home of the self or soul. By bringing the mind into this center, we discover a portal to the most intimate and luminous space. It is said our inner guide sits there in deep meditation, waiting for us. Anahata translates as the unstuck, unstruck sound. Anahata, the fourth chakra, the heart space. This is the conduit between the upper chakras and the lower chakras. And it's, it's where we can start that heart-mind connection. So allowing yourself to tap into your heart space where your intuition lies and allowing for your intuition to surface, allowing for the self-love to surface, allowing for you to trust yourself again. And we can do this through meditation sitting with ourselves, listening to our hearts, developing that relationship and that trust again with our intuition. I know for me personally, I am reminding myself to trust myself again. I had a gut instinct and I went against it. I believed a person for their word versus what I was feeling and I got burned in the end. And so I'm redeveloping that relationship of trust with myself and knowing to listen to my instinct. If I feel, if I hear a message and somebody else externally for me is telling me otherwise, I have to trust myself. So developing that trust and that love for yourself to allow for the story to change I trust myself, I trust my instincts, and so with that, I'm going to be my authentic self because I know that that's what's best for me. Come from your heart. Listen to your heart. So next time, the hard, emo the hard emotion of not living in alignment, feeling like you're not being true to yourself, sit in meditation, come back to the heart space, listen for the messages there, and then proceed. The fifth card is the gift that you possess that you're ready to share. And that card was the bat in reverse. Darkness, letting go, death leading to rebirth. Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight for hours, in the daylight hours. 
The bat is a master of the subtle senses of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and other things to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns, no more lingering in the past. When in balance, accepts, adapts, adjusts. When out of balance, refuses to let go, reminisces. To bring it to balance, watch the sunrise. So the notes I had on this were pretty extensive. The end of a chapter, move on. No more lingering in the past. Adjust to bring it to balance. Adjust is when you feel in balance. In balance. So whatever has been holding you back from sharing your authenticity, what you're good at, or your dream job, it's time to let go of the resistance and change that story. So if you feel like you can't do something, or you're never going to make money doing that, or you know your parents said that you were never going to make money doing that, or... You grew up Christian and the Bible said you can do something, but it's in alignment with who you are. And the example that I can think of is the Bible says that a man shouldn't sleep with another man. And I don't know if that's verbatim, but, and maybe you are a man that wants to sleep with another man. Maybe that's not sexually, but maybe you just want to cuddle. There's nothing wrong with that. It's time to change the story. It's time to stop holding us back from who we really are. Once you allow your true self to emerge, your gift will appear. Whatever gift you're meant to share with the world, once you are in alignment with your intuition and, and the trust within yourself and be who you really, who you really are, your gift will, will be ready to be shared. The gift will reveal itself once you stop holding yourself back, once you stop making excuses for why you're not living your truth or why you're not living a life that makes you happy or that brings joy out of you. The gift is already inside of you. You just need to go through the darkness and let go of the past of what was to see, to see what can be, and be willing to see and to share. So, in the darkness, do the work, remove the layers, and shine the light on what's underneath the rock. To who you really are, to who you really meant to emerge as we're in a rebirthing process or who is meant to come out on the other side who do you want to be let go of what you think you're supposed to be and be who you want to be and once you become who you want to be and who you're meant to be on this planet at this time you'll know what your gift is for this world and you'll be in alignment with the share. The sixth card is the reframe. How to reframe the story or change the belief. And that card is the scorpion. Passionate, competitive, tends towards isolation. The scorpion is a passionate and determined creature. Their career, career is very important to them, as are a few select friends. Sometimes the scorpion's heat festers, and they focus on an unresolved event from the past, usually a situation where they left were left feeling burned. The scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual fiery but fun self. When in balance, wild and free, fierce. When out of balance, jealous, resentful, unresolved. To bring into balance, honesty and forgiveness. It's 
So instead of holding yourself back from living your truth, be passionately you. Allow that fire within you to create change. Burn down who you were to allow the phoenix to emerge, to allow your true self to emerge. Be wild and free, passionate about your life. Forgive yourself for holding yourself back, for not trusting yourself to be free. If there's a fear of what others may think, there's a fear of people judging you for who you really are, forgive them. Live your truth and inspire them to live theirs. And if they don't see that, and they're, or if they judge you and they make fun of you, they're not meant for you. Live your life for you, not for someone else. Because your real life partner is your body. And if you're not living authentically and you're living your life for someone else, you've given up your body. You've given up your life. Why? Come back to the passion. Bring the power back into your hands. Light the fire in your belly to be your authentic self. The seventh card is, what am I ready to evolve into? And that card was the fire ant in reverse. Aggression, rigid thinking, following orders. Fire ant energy flares up without us noticing. It's the force that attracts us to people in situations that feed our imbalances rather than those that counter them. Gossiping and blaming are a few indicators that misaligned and fire ant energy is at play. You may also find yourself stewing on a person or a situation, only making things worse. How can you break free from the drama and cool down? Fire ants are surprisingly sensitive. Don't pretend the heat isn't getting to you. When in balance, thoughtful, disciplined. When out of balance, argues, heat, excess heat, gossips. To bring into balance, solo time walks at night. So because it's in the reverse, what are you ready to evolve into? Not aggression. You want to be at peace with who you are. You don't want to follow orders of who you're supposed to be. You just want to be yourself. You don't want to, you no longer have to live by societal standards or conditioning of who you're supposed to be. Who do you want to be? If you find yourself gossiping or making fun of other people, it's because you're not living in your truth and you're insecure about your own things. So it's time to change that. It's time to embrace who you really are and embrace others for who they really are. And inspire people to live their truth and encourage others to live their truth and celebrate those that are already living their truth. It's time to be truly free and be at peace with who you are and to attract people that are, are in balance with that and that feed your truth and feed who you're meant to be, who you want to be and use that fire energy for good for taking action on things that mean something to you. To bring into balance solo time walks at night. Take the time to reflect and think about who you want to be. Who do you want to show up as? Be that. The bottom of the deck is the subconscious card. And it's the turtle.
ancient soul, grounded, trusting at home in the self. It is wonderful to be in the presence of a turtle personality. Like the beaver, the turtle has a strong relationship with the earth and water elements simultaneously. This helps to ground and connect them to the deeper truths of life, no matter where their travels lead them. Turtle energy is behind all great writers and storytellers, as they collect life experiences under their shells for later use. The most potent turtle energy helps us close all the other books and begin to tell our own true tale. Begin to tell our own true tale. What is the story that you want to be living? Not the one that's dictated towards you. What's the story that you want to tell about your life? What's the story that you want to live? When in balance, peaceful, adventurous, and productive. When out of balance, slows down to a halt to bring into balance an adventure. Trusting, being at home in the self. Your subconscious is asking you to be at home within yourself, to be at peace within yourself. If you're not living an authentic life, you're not being, you're not honoring who you really are, then you're not going to feel safe within yourself. You're not going to feel at home within yourself. If you continue to hold on to the past, of who you were and not embrace this area of growth and rebirth and emerging from this cocoon as a butterfly when you were a caterpillar before. Be the butterfly. Don't die in the cocoon. Don't stay as a butter as a as a caterpillar. You're meant to be the butterfly. But in this incubating stage in the cocoon Learn what kind of butterfly you want to be. How do you want to show up in the world? It's a beautiful time to be alive. It's beautiful energy to work with. And it's beautiful to know that we have the power to create that. The affirmation card that I pulled for this is, I surrender to a power greater than me. Trust that the energy of truth and love and authenticity that you're putting out into the world will be well received and brought back to you. Surrender that trust to something greater than you. Exude that energy out and it will reply. It will respond like a boomerang. But you gotta live your truth. And if you don't know what that is, it's the perfect time to reflect and figure out who you are. Sending you much love and many blessings on this journey. You've got this. <laughs>